I'm back at Disneyland Paris after a year and a half of being gone for it. So why don't you join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another TLEV Media video. My name is Mr. E and today, yes, we are back at Disneyland Paris. Oh, I am so excited to go in. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you enjoy all our theme park content, make sure to hit that like button. All right, let's go guys into Disneyland Paris. And we are in Disneyland Paris. Ah, it's good to be back. Now there is some very sad news for Missy who is taking pictures because this is her first time, is that the castle, well, you just have to wait and see. The castle is covered up. It's covered up. It's very sad. But the reason it's covered up is actually for a really cool reason. It's because they are repainting it just a little bit. Giving it a little retouch because the 30th anniversary is coming up. And they are going to make sure that it's going to be extravagant, you know. Um, and of course, this castle is one of, I think, the best castles. Sadly, you can't visit the dragon that's underneath the castle while they're working on it. You still can go underneath it. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like a Minecraft castle right now. There's like blocks all around it. Uh, you can see the top. The top is actually open to the public and the, the bottom bridge is also open. Everything else though is <laughs> just blocks covering up the castle. But anyways, Miss E has told me what she wants to do first. What do you want to do first, Missy? We're gonna go to Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. We're going to do Indiana Jones the roller coaster basically so let's go let's just go do it let's go do it all right here we go ladies and gentlemen indiana jones and the temple of perel oh yeah this isn't your ordinary indiana jones right no 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 it is a roller coaster let's go we gotta go around this temple guys this is the temple right here Oh, there's a pirate here. Pirate. First ride of Disneyland completed now. Indiana Jones. How is it? It was fun. It, Very I different, think, huh? I think that, like you said, the people who made Disney Paris really like roller coasters yeah, and do. real rides. They they do. They really do. Um, I I love that ride. But if you're ever gonna ride that ride, make sure to keep your head against the headrest because um, your ears will not be forgiven if you don't. So. Um, but now we're going to head over. To Frontierland, and we are going to do Phantom Manor. Now, Phantom Manor, I'm so excited to show Missy e because Phantom Manor is nothing like the Haunted Mansion. You can't even compare them. They are both two very, very different rides. Phantom Manor, the whole storyline is based around a family that lives in Frontierland about a, a woman who dies basically and she's taking you in um, while Haunted Mansion is basically just its own thing. But here there's actually a lure that goes with all of their frontier land. So we're gonna go do Phantom Manor. I love that ride. Phantom Manor is something that's so dark. The story is so dark and it's so well done. The colors are amazing and they've changed up a lot I believe from the from the previous time. Um, I think they did a lot of uh, touch up of the paint. Uh, during their little break, so I'm excited to do that. Um, so here we go to Phantom Manor. Now the first thing you'll notice Phantom Manor is that it looks completely different from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, uh, I hope you guys can see it's a little dark for sure. Let me get a closer look for you guys. There you go. There is the Phantom Manor. Oh, it's a little dark for you guys, but here is the sign of the Phantom Manor. I love this sign. I love it so much. Let's go in to the Phantom Manor.
Perhaps you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Hélas, les choses ne sont pas toujours ce qu'elles paraissent. Et tous les comptes n'ont pas de femme heureuse. It appears everyone is doomed at Phantom Man. Even you? And notice this. This chamber has no windows and no doors. Nicky, mother. Are you see? ready? I don't see. We know those guys. <laughs> The poor bird. And we are out of Phantom Manor. Missy has some, some crazy things to say. I'm what 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 are you what are you saying, Missy? Who's gonna get mad at me? But I like that one a little bit better than ours because oh. I wouldn't. Honestly, I would not take kids on that one. Oh, it's, it's very pretty, scary. It's very it's creepy. pretty spooky. The yeah. little the skeleton guy is pretty creepy looking. Yeah, exactly. And the whole like graveyard scene usually it's supposed to be all fun and yeah. That one was scary. Yeah, there's more. There's like skeleton, more skeletons than anything else. Yeah. But Missy, would you say that that was that was that was an experience? It was an experience. Yeah. Well, now we're going to do another experience. <laughs> right over here. Let's do it. Are you ready? Ready. No, you're not. Oh, boy. I told you! Look at this size, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, dude. So crazy. They don't have a goat, though. No goat. But look, you can see the tower, too. If it's a manor. Well done. Best remove them. <laughs> Stick 
Thunder Mountain. Great ride, always. It's so different yeah. out here. The speed. They go so fast when you're yeah. underwater. I hope you guys can hear it. I'm gonna, I'll put the full clip there. Um, I hope you guys can hear it. It's, they don't they don't mess around. And here's the school, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is one of the best things I think in the park in Adventureland is the Peter Pan school. And of course you can go inside it, and we will go inside it with Captain Hook's ship over here. But you can also go on. And Mitzi is just taking it in, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah we'll go inside for sure. Yeah, no, no. There we go. And we are on the top of the skull. There's the eyeballs. And I don't think we showed this to you guys last time we were out here. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's about like a year old now. Go ahead, click the icon. The eye icon. Go see it. But yeah, I don't think we showed you guys the inside of the skull. But here we are at the top of it. Pretty cool. Love it. It's very nice in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I see. It's time. Oh, this ride is awesome. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. And I actually wore the right shirt for this. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm probably gonna miss E show it off for us. But guys, I wore. Hold on. Uh, I have my. I've tied my sweater around because I wore. Look. I wore the Pirates of the Caribbean shirt that we came up with with Hauntless Carol. Look at that. Just for this ride, okay? Make sure to go buy a t-shirt. Go. Link in the description. Just look at this facade for the ride. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Blackbeard! Hello, Blackbeard! Oh boy! There's something wrong with the captain. <laughs> He's just a little sleepy today, huh, Captain? Oh, yeah, Captain. Oh. Oh. Look, it's Barbosa. And now we enter Discovery Land. Thomas's favorite land of this park. Cause it's all Jules Verne based off of, or it's all based off of Jules Verne. And mainly, this is why we're here. This attraction right here. Hyperspace Mountain. It's not Space Mountain anymore. It is Hyper Space Mountain. And this ride is incredible. This is not like Space Mountain back in California or in Orlando. Now see, this Space Mountain is a real roller coaster where you have a harness for you, handlebars, there's loops, there's corkscrews, there's everything in this ride. It's, it's, no matter what, you're never prepared for this ride. So we're going straight on there right now. You know, Space Mountain's different when it sounds like this. I hope they can hear it. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear it. This is what I was talking about. Oh boy. Let's do it. Space Mountain. Hyperspace Mountain, actually. Miss E. 
Holy moly. <laughs> that was good. It was Chef's kiss. So Chef's kiss and I thought that the way that they did the Star Wars Hyperspace was Mountain. so cool. Yeah. There was like corkscrews and you're going through like a battle with lasers really? and yeah. and you're launching, literally launching into hyperspace. Yeah. It was pretty cool. So cool. Pretty cool, yeah. So it seems like Hyperspace Mountain is going to be there for, I think for good. I think for good because um, I, I saw a pin for Hyperspace Mountain. Like, like it's like it says Disney Paris attraction. So I believe their Space Mountain is going to stay as Hyperspace Mountain since they don't really have a Galaxy's Edge or anything like that. So, but you know what, it kind of works out here. It really works. Um, I really wish I could, was able to do the original Space Mountain out here, but that's okay, you know, to each their own kind of thing. I just heard, it came out today, the news, that Fast Passes, at least out here, they're gonna start charging for Fast Passes. So if you want Fast Passes for certain rides, they don't really have the price ranges yet, but it's uh, between eight euros to 15 euros. So that's like around $10 to $20 um, for a fast pass. Now, does that mean we're gonna be seeing fast passes all over Disneyland, all the Disney resorts become um, basically like pay, if you have to pay for the fast passes? I don't know yet. I don't know for sure. Um, you guys let me know in the comment section down below, but I know over here start I think starting today or tomorrow actually that they are doing This whole new thing where if you want a fast pass and I think because of COVID right now still They're not doing fast passes, but once that starts again, you got to pay for fast passes, which is very interesting It's not like the it's not like the max pass where you used to get because I know you were Missy was asking if it's like the max pass No, this is literally just for a fast pass for one of the rides. So um, it's very interesting. I saw a lot of people are tweeting about it or not too excited. Um, I'm not excited about that either, but if you guys want a full in-depth video about that, I know Thomas and I could probably talk about it and give you guys our viewpoints, um, but just let us know in the comment section down below what you guys think and all that. And that is going to be it for our time at Disneyland Paris. It is already about almost nine o'clock, right? And, and the, the sun's still out. I mean, that's how it is out here in France. Um, but we had a really good time. Missy, how was it? It was, it was so different and I think that was refreshing to have an experience that I haven't had before. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to follow us all on social media, TV Media. All across the board. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do that at buymeacoffee.com. Everything is in the description down below. With that being said, my name is Mystery. I'm Missy. We'll see you guys on the next extraordinary adventure.